Guys, I am here today with Cecil Gray, who is the Maritime and Port Operations Teacher for the uh, for the City of Pasadena. Uh, uh, Cecil, you got an amazing story about what you've done with your kids since the inception of this thing. We'd love you to tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank the Economic Alliance for having us. Um, yeah. We've been fortunate to be coming for a long time. We've uh, we've made several appearances here, uh, except for when COVID, of course. Uh, but the the unique thing is now I've got former students that have been here that are out in industry yeah. so I just want to let the people know the industry partners that you have uh, all the businesses that it's working you know that because workforce development is a big big thing I know uh, economic alliance has been a part of that for years and um, so now we're seeing some good results the maritime and port operations uh, classes started with the port of Houston so uh, businesses along the channel were going to the port saying, hey, just like we heard today right. from, from our speakers in the uh, morning breakfast for the students, that, that um, the workforce is aging and retiring, which that you all, you all know that. So uh, the workforce development started. We started the maritime program uh, with partnership with the port. And, uh, and then coming out here, our students have come to this thing several times, and now as former students, they're actually out there in industry. Right. Okay. So that's an amazing thing. I have a student working uh, for, uh, he's a third mate on a ship. Uh, he was here many, many years ago. A uh, uh, young lady worked on a pipeline. So we got pipelines and actually worked in Arizona and, and wow. West Texas, yeah, on pipelines because we awesome. teach that as well, all the different modes of transportation. I have a number of students uh, working on towboats, pushing barges and things like that. And then on the business end, uh, on the land side, of course, maritime administration. So we've got students out there doing all that kind of work as well. So that's an amazing testament just to the, uh, to the, the level of impact that this organization has because we've got all the way from former governors governors on stage all the way to guys that are down in the trenches like you and we couldn't do it all without guys like yourself who are committed to the service of these young adults as they're trying to find a way to you know carve their way into the world and uh, and, and guys with your heart who commit to that every day we're the ones who should be thanking you oh, well, right yeah so it, it, it's a it's a team effort and I, like uh, one of the speakers said it's it takes a village you know and everybody here has talked about community and, and we're fortunate to see it given back to us. We have great uh, resources available. Uh, we do some really cool trips. Uh, we get to go to visit uh, different companies. And then things like this, events like this, really help the students to understand what's going on out there in industry. Grows them up, matures them. Fantastic, what a great example. I do appreciate you giving us our feedback today. Thank you, Thanks, Cecil, thank, thank you. you.